locked in But I still go and make the blocks spin, you know Treat you like you number one out top ten, you know And I know you thinking that I'm not, you know I Hey my chair bears, and I'm back with another YouTube video So I know I haven't been here in a minute But as I already explained in one of my videos That situation is still going on I'm currently taking care of the situation So y'all don't really got words too much about that but anyways enough said about that i'm back with a video and what? so anyways i'm here with how to live in your soft girl era i've been seeing a lot of girls asking how to stay in your soft girl era how to stay calm cute respectful and i'm here to give you girls some tips on how to do so because we all want to stay in our feminine energy. Not too much talking. We finna get right into the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And become part of the Cheer Bear Gang. I'm still working on what I should be calling my YouTube. But for now, it's going to be the Cheer Bear. So. so number one, letting go of unhealthy slash non-beneficial relationships. This is top for me because I feel like once you let go of people who are not benefiting you, who are unhealthy, it kind of takes away the negative vibes, it takes away the stress that you may be feeling being that person friend or being in a relationship with somebody. It's going to take away, like, the first part of the negative stuff that's in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you're going to feel a weight. Now you're going to feel, like, like, now you're going to feel better and more positive energy and you're going to feel just better inside because it's like, okay, I'm not dealing with that no more. Like, me letting go people that just wasn't for me. And sometimes you will feel bad, like, dang, but this was my friend or this was my boyfriend. And, like, is this, am I doing, like, am I doing the right thing? If you got to let somebody go, then that mean, like, or if you're feeling like that, then that mean they're giving you the vibes to feel like that. And you're not going to feel like that for no reason. Trust your instinct. Trust your instinct. I know all of us be like, my gut tripping, but then like two weeks later when you cut that person off, you be like, dang. I was already thinking about doing that. I just ain't never do it. So definitely cutting off people. Ways to help out with that also is you could literally just like the pros and cons of being this person friend. If the cons weigh out, let that person go. If the cons weigh out in your relationship, let that person go. Because once you let go people in your life that are negative, then you don't have like that negativity around you the second step is watch what and how you respond to things you start responding to certain things like or like what you respond to it kind of um it kind of helps out with like your life being positive like don't like don't respond to negative things all the time because it's going to get your mind thinking negative like you know sometimes if somebody's talking about you just let them talk you know, you and whoever is like your real friends, they know the real you. So if somebody's talking down to you, like, let them believe it. Maybe they're talking down to you because they know you're doing something good. Like, turn it into something positive. Like, oh, this person's talking about me, then I must be doing something good. And then, you know what I'm saying? She must want to be me. Because why she's talking about me? Why am I on her mind? I would say I'm doing something good because I'm on her mind. Like, think about it like that. And also, like, not always cussing somebody out. Saying thank you more. You know what I'm saying? Giving giving to people more you know what i'm saying like you know when you out to eat and some people don't really do a tip throw a little five dollar tip like make somebody day you know what i'm saying it's just because you if you be positive to the world like the world is gonna give that to you you're doing good to the world you're giving gonna get it back you know what i'm saying god's gonna bless you back the universe is gonna bless you back just be positive just keep that positive mindset you know what i'm saying don't let the internet you know everything get to you and just cloud your head with negativity you gotta learn how to think positive you know respond positive you know living your feminine energy you're a woman you know saying thank you just sounds a little bit more better but somebody do something for you thank you you know what i'm saying y'all give y'all you where i'm going the girls that get it get it the girls that get it get it number three is stay in a positive environment slash mindset if you're not around negativity if you're not around negativity, then and you're around positive stuff more, people who support you 
and people who are on the same path as you, like they also got something going on for your for themselves. Like that's all you're gonna think about, and your mind is gonna stay motivated. Your mind is gonna stay positive. Like your environment is a big impact on how you think and who you are. So just think about switching your environment up. Like now you hanging around go getters. You know what I'm saying? Now you hang around people who like nah, I, I gotta go to work. Like yeah, I'm tired, but I gotta go to work. You gonna start thinking like hmm. Maybe I should be like that and just go to work. Now you're making more money because you actually getting up and going to work. People who think positive, they always just see the best of things. That's going to help you train your brain. Like, oh, every time she going through something, like, she always just think of a, a good outcome. Now you like, hmm, let me start thinking like that. Now you thinking positive and your life is going to get better. Like, literally just your thoughts counts. Literally your thoughts get you a long way, like, just thinking positive about every situation. I don't care if God brought a big hurtful or just something that you feel like, oh my God, like, why did this have to happen? Just think like, you know, I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to get through. I'm going to get through this. And I'm going to handle this. When you handle it, it's going to be like, okay, I really like did what I said I was going to do. I really just accomplished something because I didn't stress myself out and just think the worst. Like, oh my God, now this happened. Now I'm not going to be able to do this. I said, I'm going to handle it. And I'm going to give it to God. And now I'm going to like I'm telling y'all, like it, it really helps. Like you just gotta get yourself to think like this, and you're it's gonna get better. Your current situation isn't your situation for life. Just think about it like that. Number four is pamper yourself. Y'all, I just started about pampering myself because I mean, like it's been a lot going on in my life. Too, you know what I'm saying? And it really keeps my mind like going. Like I feel like. Learn yourself and learn what you like and what keeps you motivated and do what keeps you motivated. Like, for instance, me. What keeps me motivated and keep me feeling good is, like, my hair being done, my nails being done, me having some lashes, you know, new um, clothes. Like, just, like, keeping myself up, basically, to summarize all that. Like, keeping myself up, like, helps me feeling good. So, me doing that keeps me, like, okay, yeah. Period. I'm ready. I'm trying to get this done. I'm going to get a YouTube video done. Now I'm being more consistent and I'm actually working to achieve the goals that I have. Because I went to work and made money, I got to do stuff that I want to do. So do what helps you stay in a positive mindset and that's pampering yourself. Always pamper yourself. I feel like every girl that pampered themselves, they're in a good, you know what I'm saying, mood. Like no girl is pampering themselves and still like, oh my God, so what tomorrow brings? No girl, you know when you look good. You know, you be ready to take pictures, you be ready to do stuff, all this and that. You don't forgot about that boy that's doing you wrong. You out with your girls, you living life, you're happy, you're glowing. So keep yourself, keep that in rotation so you can stay feeling good. And like, you know, when you feel good, you just feel like you're in your soft girl here. You just, <sighs> I might get a waitress $40 just because I'm feeling good. <sighs> I might, you know what I'm saying? Now you just give it and you're just feeling good because you look good. I feel like a lot of a lot of us women, when we look good, we just feel better. Pampering yourself all the time, it just helps. And we all know that. Don't lie. You know you know that. Number five. Okay. <laughs> Number five is control your emotions. This is especially for me because I feel like... I, how do I start? When I don't control my emotions and I just cut somebody out or now I'm just mad or... When somebody, it's like some people, I be feeling like you just wanted to ruin my day because they just come at me with some nonsense and now I'm mad the whole day. Like, learn to control your emotions. Like, if somebody come at you on some bullshit, you know, we all know that one person that just texts you and then you be like, oh my God, like, control that. Don't let somebody, don't let somebody else have, how do I put this? Don't let people be able to, like, make your mood or ruin your day like don't let somebody saying something to you or somebody being the way to you ruin your whole mood to the point it's like they done came me up on the sentence now you just now you just mad the whole day or now you just think about that the whole day now your mind is off and you're not motivated no more because this person came to you with some negative energy learn how to be like okay they came with negative energy but i'm gonna put that to the side and get back to what i was doing you know what i'm saying because it's at the end of the day like some people may be doing it on purpose. So don't let anything, not even just people, don't let anything that comes in your life that is negative change 
your like mindset or change your emotions for that day or for that hour i don't care if you gotta look at it and be mad be mad for them two quick seconds how right back into what you was doing being able to control like your mood in your day because your mood and how you feeling like literally portray how your day is gonna go if you wake up happy on a good note and ignore all the negative t negativity you're gonna get everything that you need to get done you know what i'm saying if you wake up mad about something from yesterday then you're probably not gonna be motivated to do anything that day so that's a big thing the last one and i saved the best for last keep the past in the past i'm gonna say it for the girls in a bet and that's me too <laughs> that's me too i'm still working on it but like none of us is perfect we all learning but keep the past in the past sometimes it be hard because when sometimes it be hard because when something happens to you or like something just something go wrong you kind of like oh my god you thinking about it all day like start thinking of it do something like i said do something that's gonna take you out that mood. If you gotta listen to music, or if you gotta smoke, or you know what I'm saying, if you gotta watch some YouTube videos, if you gotta go buy yourself something or pamper yourself, do that because leave the past in the past. I also be feeling like don't even bring up like bring up the situation. Like if you see somebody that's telling you something that you can relate to off the past, don't even bring it up. Don't think about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to make it a topic here and there because you need to just let it go. What happened in the past? You know, forgive that person for how they did you or forgive yourself for how you did yourself and leave it in the past because you're trying to make move forward. And, you know, bringing the past to the present is going to affect you every time. It's going to set you back every single time. I would not tell you this if I didn't mean this. I just had six things. <laughs> I just had six things six things to how to stay well how to enter and stay in your soft girl era i hope you girls enjoyed this video i really hope y'all take what i said and actually like you know put it into your daily life because i just feel like even if you're doing one thing that i said it's gonna change your life i want to see everybody win i want to see all the girls doing it is what they want to do and shitting on all the people that you know crying on their damn fall because that's what i'm gonna do you know everybody that's praying on my downfall i'm already kind of but you know what i'm saying i ain't even there yet let's not talk about that because i'm not even there yet but i just want to see all the genuine people you know what i'm saying make it because i feel like we all deserve it i'm gonna say i'm a log out take my corners listen to what i said and take it into consideration i'm gonna get back to y'all i may have another little girl talk if y'all like this one or you know just some more content like, comment, and subscribe so you can become a chair bearer. Part of the game. And I'll see you guys later.